Today in Virginia, the governor issued a stay-at-home declaration. Basically, what that means is if you don't have an emergency, a health issue, if you're not going out for food, then stay at home. What this is causing is causing many issues. It will cause many economic issues. Um, it's already been causing the economic issues and it's going to get worse. But the thing I want to talk to you about what it's actually going to do is it's going to play with your identity. You see, the vast majority of human beings are identified in what they do. They're identified by being a provider. They're identified in being a doctor or a lawyer, a trash man, a teacher, a guru. And if you're identified in what you do, what you're going to discover over the course of the next month or two, is that feeling of not being enough. Because that thing that you're believing that you are, the ego, is always looking, searching for, and trying to become a better version of itself. Bookstores are flooded with self-help books on how to become this better version of yourself. But all of mankind's attempts to become a better version of themselves have really done nothing much more than create more problems. It's this burning desire, this burning egoic desire that is causing tons of of issues, societal issues, is the burning desire of the kid walking down the streets of Chicago for those new pair of tennis shoes when he sees them on the feet of someone walking down the sidewalk, he just takes them or he'll shoot them and take them. And that, while it might just be on the streets, it goes all the way up into the highest points and parts of our governments. There's this burning desire for more. To be known. To become something greater. But the truth is this. That when you realize you're not the body or the actions of the body, when you come to the realization that you are so much more than all of that, Freedom comes to you. And this enables you to live in such a way that's called contentment. I spent a lot of time striving, working and striving to become a better Christian, to become a better version of myself, to become a better teacher become a better friend, to become a better husband, to become a better father, to become a better man. But these layers of ego have all slowly over the years melted away in the fire of self-realization, in the fire of divine realization. The Bible says, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creation. Old things have passed away. Behold, all things become new. The newness that's found in this Christ consciousness that's found here in the now is liberation from all that you thought you were, all that you believed you were, all of the things, ideas, concepts that you've identified in and as. And so over the next couple months, one of two things is going to happen. You're either going to feel like less of a man or woman, less of a mother or father. Maybe right now you're feeling like a great mom, 
But as the months go on that your children are home, you might start to get frustrated with them and you might start to feel, I'm a bad mom. Or you might right now feel like, hey, I've saved up some money, I'm still a good provider. But as the months go on and things get tighter financially because maybe you were laid off from your job, then all of a sudden you might, it might start to kick in, I'm a poor provider, I didn't plan enough. And you might begin to feel the underlining stress of that rising in your mind. But I'm just here to tell you that it's okay. Because you are none of those things. You are none of those things. You are not the thing that you believe that you are. And it's this simple realization that will set you free and release you into a place of contentment, a place of inner satisfaction and inner peace that surpasses all understanding. In this place where you no longer have identified as anything, there's nothing that can be taken from you. There's nothing that can be lost because none of it's yours. And so here we are. You might have to, like us, be staying home for the next month or two. But the truth is, in this eternal now, I'm not staying home for a month or two. We're just here in this moment. And it is perfect.